Good afternoon, it's early January 2024 and we're here in Blackburn in Lancashire in the northwest of uh, the UK and I thought we'd try this place out. Uh, this is Holly Tree Fish and Chips and they sell an East Lancashire delicacy called the John Bull. I've heard uh, lots of good things about John Bulls, um, probably wondering what the hell they are but uh, all will be revealed later on in this review. So let's get in and let's check it out. So now for the grand unveiling. Now I'll tell you what, in the last couple of weeks in the UK we've had so much rain, everywhere's sodden. So I can't find anywhere round the chippy to actually eat these. So what other better place is there than the top of my car on the roof? So anyway, let's, uh, let's do the grand unveiling of these. Now I've been told that the mushy peas are down at the bottom of this. So, ta-da! There we go. So that's, uh, that's your chips and your John Bull. And the mushy peas are hiding down at the bottom of there. So, first of all, let's try out one of these chips. Yeah, they're good. Nice chips, golden in colour, yeah not bad them, excuse me, we'll get into this uh, jumble very soon and I'll get back to you in a minute. And the all important price of this was £6.80 and that's there. So £6.80 and that's for a, a famous jumble, which we'll get to in a minute. Chips and some mushy peas. So yeah, what you can see in front of you. Right, and let's do the important unveiling. I brought a knife with me, as you can see. Let's do the unveiling of the John Bull. Now there's a bit of history that goes with the John Bull. These are a Blackburn and an East Lancashire delicacy and they consist of, so I've been told if anybody wants to correct me they can do, two slices of potato, some mincemeat and that is deep fried in batter and that is what you can see there. Now like I say these are an East Lancashire thing, Blackburn, Burnley I think, Accrington that kind of area. Now they became popular after the Second World War when fish was very expensive, a bit like now to be fair, in 2024. But uh, yeah, fish was very expensive at the time after the war and uh, the chippies brought this out because it was cheaper and it was, uh, it was still as tasty. So anyway, I'll stop waffling and uh, we'll get tasty now. Oh yeah. That is a taste sensation that. That is well good. It's a great combination that of the minced meat and spices or whatever else they put in it. Very nice that. Potato and it's got a nice crunch to it as well. Now, never had one of these before. I've seen them reviewed on YouTube, obviously, and I was wondering what all the fuss is about. But yeah, that is really good, that. And I'll get back to you after I've eaten some more. As you can see, I've made half of that disappear already. But I just wanted to show you the uh, the mushy peas as well. Mushy peas, standard chip shop mushy peas then. Down at the bottom of the tray, as you can see. But yeah, all good. The main event is this thing. The famous jumble. 
I'll get back to you in a minute. Right, just to get back to you, as you can see, the uh, the food's fast disappearing. Don't really need to take this review any much uh, any much further forward, really. The chips, fairly standard, really, nice enough, as was the mushy peas. But the main event was this thing, or what's left of it, the John Bull. Now, I think that was excellent, that. I'd definitely be back, be back here to get another one of them in the future. And I think they're about £2.80. Yeah, £2.80 each, those. So, they're not, they're not cheap, but they're not as expensive as, a, as a, a piece of haddock or a piece of cod. So, a good cheaper alternative and still packed with flavour. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a, a score out of 10 for the whole thing. It's got to be a 10 out of 10 for the uh, for the John Bull alone. Definitely be back. And if you're ever in uh, this part of, uh, of Lancashire, Blackburn, um, I'd recommend for you to, to come and try one of those, definitely. I'll just pan up again to show you where we are. So that is the chippy over there. With the... Uh, the blue door so yeah and all that remains for me to say is please come and join me again on my next uh, adventure whether that be in the UK the soggy UK at the moment or around the world and thanks for watching and I'll see you soon